It's been almost 10 years since we've seen the Tigers in the playoffs. I mean, they have been above 500 one singular time in the last 10. The Tigers have been dysfunctional, and there's no other way to word it. They failed at every turn that you could imagine, but finally, after all of the years of losing, the fans suffering every year, it is all going to be coming to an end in 2024. The Detroit Tigers will be the breakout team of 2024, and they are set up for a Baltimore Orioles type future. The name of the game is pitching. I mean, pitching has been something that Detroit has really been good at. Looking at it from a talent standpoint, they've put together quite the bullpen. They have multiple pieces that they have to continue building off of. Number one was their closer, Alex Lang. Lang is a former first round pick by the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs traded Lang to the Tigers in exchange for Nick Castellanos back in 2019. Lang was just a young prospect at the time and has now turned into the team's closer. 2023 was not perfect for him by any means. He had command issues, and it really did kill him. But he was one of the best closers in baseball for the first few months of the season. But after a while, again, the command issues really got to him, and many were even questioning if he should still be the team's closer. Regardless, he was the team's closer, and he was a very talented pitcher, and he's only 28 years old. This guy has plenty of room to grow, and I'm sure that he will in this offseason. Another key arm for the Tigers was, of course, pitcher Will Vest. Vest came up in 2021 with the Mariners, made his way to the Tigers, and is now one of the top relievers in baseball. In 48 games that he pitched in, he had a 298 ERA. Again, Vest is one of those guys who could really be good. The bullpen is going to be one of the big ways that the Tigers end up winning next season. They have to continue getting better, and I'm very, very positive that they will be aggressive when it comes to adding relievers. But what about the rotation? I mean, the Tigers have been building the rotation from the ground up for several years now, and next year is going to be the time that they pull everything off. In the process of filming, your boy got the flu, so I'm going to have one of my friends take over the rest of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. One last thing, the guy finishing off this video does do baseball sports card content. His name is Grip and Rip Sports Cards. Go subscribe, link in the description. Hope you guys enjoy. The great thing about the Tigers is that the pitching is all young. This means their core has multiple prime years left in them, and I'd only expect the Reds to improve this offseason. Anyways, as I was saying, the Tigers are only getting better. The 25-year-old Matt Manning has a 3.58 ERA last season and looked really good. They also had Tariq Skubal pitch a 2.8 ERA. As good as they were last year, there's only one thing that's really destroying them, and that has been for a while, and that would be the injuries. Pretty much every starter last year went down with some sort of injury at some point in time. For the Tigers to succeed next season, they'd have to be able to stay healthy. Then looking in at the lineup, they're one of the youngest teams and most talented teams we've ever seen. At first base, we saw Spencer Torkelson break out. He had a bad rookie year and everyone wrote him off, but last season was a lot better for him. He had a 31 home runs and a 758 OPS overall, an impressive player with lots to build off of. But if we're going to talk about the best young player on the team, that award has gone to Kerry Carpenter. Carpenter has only gotten better defensively. He's a fast player, but also has a really good bat. He had 20 home runs, a 278 batting average, and an 811 OPS. These are the two that the Tigers have continued to build off of, and I'm pretty positive that they will. There won't be the Miguel Cabrera contract to worry about anymore, so they'll have money to spend. You just got to imagine that they make some sort of move that will help them win next year. But as it stands, they only have all the potential in the world. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.